I'm running low on caster, so today we're going to make a little bit of lure, so I thought I'd film it and kind of show you guys how I do it. Stick with us. Okay, see these are some of the smaller casters from some of the beaver I caught this fall. Um, this one probably should have been cleaned up a little bit more. You can see I got a little bit of blood on there membrane from the membrane. I should have cleaned it up just a hair more. I don't like putting that in there. So I don't do anything fancy. Mine is pretty basic, pretty straightforward. Um, I kind of assumed everybody knew how to make it or a version of it. But I had a young guy ask me about how I make it. So I figured I'd make a video, I guess. So obviously these are your casters, uh, you have a membrane that connects both of them. I never put that in there. So all, all I do is I'll cut this out. And when I try and make them, either way when I take the casters out I try and clean them because you want to get all that membrane and everything off, especially if you're going to sell them because um, you'll get downgraded to number two pretty quick. So what I'm going to do is I'll chop, I'll cut these out, the membrane out of all three of these. I'll cut them up and I'll show you the next step. So all I'm doing now is just cutting the caster up. I try to cut it up into uh, small pieces just so it's a little bit easier on that blender. Apparently I need to sharpen my knife, but I don't cut them up too, too small, because if there is juice, like you can see how wet this is, I want to save all that juice and try and get it uh, in the blender with the, with the caster. So basically all I'm doing, I just cut them up. I threw the other ones in already. So just throw them in there. I did, before I started the video, I did cut up uh, two caster that I had that were dried. So, and then beside your caster and the beaver, these are the oil glands. So what we're going to do, I'm not going to put these in, but we'll see if I can't cut them open here. You see that oil there? That's what we're going to squeeze into here. There's not a whole bunch in here. But I always add a little bit. This one actually had quite a bit. Usually I've found there isn't quite that much in there. Some guys will add other additives and other oils, I guess. Um, will it work better? Probably. But I just do mine plain Jane. So then now we're going to add glycerin to this. So I'll add just a little bit at a time until I get the consistency that I want. And if you guys are going to make this at home and you steal a processor from Mama, make sure you don't uh, bring it back in the house. She might be a little thick for this little process. So I'm going to try and chop it up just a little bit more than that. I probably put too much in here at one time for this little chopper but actually I'm going to add a little bit of glycerin to it yep that'll help when a guy is chopping it up see it's a lot more pasty now
I'm going to grind her just a little bit more just to kind of get it a little bit. There's a couple of chunks in here I want to get ground up. Honestly, when it comes to this, I don't think there's a science to it. See, that looks pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with that. Like I said, this is just plain Jane. Grind the casters. I know some guys, they don't even grind the casters. They just cut the, the casters out and just leave chunks of caster. But I like this. It smears a little bit nicer and stuff. So all I'll do now is take this out if I can get it out. Just put it into a container. So as you can see, I didn't use uh, very many caster, but it'll give me a full jar here. I've got quite a few more caster uh, in the drying room right now, but those caster are big, they're full, they look really good, they're nice and clean. So I'm gonna actually use those. I'm not gonna use them for uh, to make a lure, I'm going to use them and sell them, I guess that way. Because the prices last year went up quite a bit from about $60 a pound. I think I heard they were over or around $100 a pound. So, so yeah, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. If you find, I when I first started making this, I didn't put enough glycerin in and it'll dry out a little bit. So all I did last time is I actually dumped it out cut a couple new caster up and just mix more glycerin with it and it stayed real good so hopefully that helps anybody out that's wondering and again guys thanks for watching appreciate it